when a professional yapper is speechless, you know there is something really wrong. Jojo Siwa has officially entered her era and seems to be leaving behind the bows for tattoos, as well as kiss makeup and a song that's probably been made to make the allegations go away. Yeah, the very allegations of her and her mum, Jessalyn, supposedly mistreating former XOMG pop member Leah Sanderson, among other children on set of Siwa's Dance Pop Revolution. We were doing our sound check and we were getting absolutely screamed at and mind you there's like how many people watching and we come off of the stage she keeps stopping the music stopping the music stopping the music <laughs> and i was like oh my gosh i'm literally about to go off the stage and throw up and then like no she did she i had to run to, I had to, run to the up. bathroom and it was so bad some of these allegations include leah sanderson being told by jessalyn to put a maxi pad over her bleeding belly button whilst at rehearsals along with leah apparently being screamed at and put down by jojo and even unfortunately having to sleep on an air mattress with her mum on the floor of a random studio, all the while Leah has a disability. Jessalyn would also apparently call the kids names and go as far as to shaming a kid for their disability. Jojo essentially became a mini Abby Lee Miller and seems to have absolutely nothing to say about it. Maybe because the allegations aren't true, but maybe the mother-daughter duo just genuinely do not not care. I, I, I like my kid is good. Like she just has good and pile. No, I know that. You know. Okay. Like. The rebranding of Jojo Siwa only strangely enough started to happen as an effect of the Rolling Stone article dropping on February 13th, just a little over a month ago. The article top to bottom is very damning and the only sort of denial that has come from Jessalyn and Jojo has been their counsel, Brian Friedman. These allegations are 100% provably false and this story is created to generate clear at the expense of the truth. Had actual investigative reporting been done, the voluminous and irrefutable evidence would tell you all you need to know. That a disgruntled mummage's own behavior caused for her daughter to be asked not to return to the group. Her relentless texts begging for forgiveness and for her daughter to be reinstated completely discredit her and these ridiculous allegations. Jess Siwa was protecting the staff, the other girls and their families, which she will continue to do ferociously and unapologetically. Now let's get to the elephant in the room, Jojo's recent antics as Jess keeps herself quite low key. Jojo has has been acting a little erratic, going from announcing that she's already found the sperm donor for her future kids. I, have, I actually have two tattoos dedicated to him. Um, this one's dedicated to my baby girl one day. Her name is uh, Freddie. Then this is dedicated to twin boys, Eddie and Teddy. Um, <laughs> Freddie, Eddie and Teddie. Freddie, Eddie and Teddy. I got, I want awesome. three babies. I have my sperm donor lined up. Um, he Wait. To getting a bunch of fake tattoos to emulate Australian artist G Flip. On March 6, Jojo Siwa posts photos with captions that make absolutely no sense. See you in one month. Remember, calm as a bee. Hold my mic for a moment. Could this be a possible lead up to a response about everything that has been happening over the past month? No. <laughs> The Taylor Swift reputation error that people are trying to copy and paste does not work, especially for Jojo. Because with Jojo entering her era, the lyrics are very predictable. And the worst part about this is that a TikToker already predicted what Jojo was going to be singing about. Karma's a Karma's a snore. I don't want karma anymore. You can leave karma at the door. K A R M A. Karma I was a bad girl. I did some bad things. I swear I did it all for fun and it meant nothing. It never happened. It was a secret. Like when a tree falls in the forest, no one hears it. 
another late night, another crazy mood, and I don't think twice what it would do to you. I was a wild child. You always knew it. It was a matter of time before I blew it. Thou shall not lie. Thou shall not cheat. Thou shall not get caught or you'll end up just like me. Oh! Karma is a bee. I should have known better. If I had a wish, I would have never effed around. When I saw the pics of you and her, I felt the knife twist. Karma is a bee and she's with you right now. I gotta be honest here. I really don't think that this error is going to work out for Jojo all that much. Mostly because even still, she cannot say a curse word. How are we trying to enter this bad girl arc when you can't even say f girl, say f also, like, this is all so sudden. There's been absolutely no context clues to Jojo even wanting to branch outside of the kids' bop bow wearing adult. Oh, wait, that's actually not true at all. If I'm laughing a lot in this, it's mostly because it's just, it's so wild to me how blatant this is. My theory is that Jojo is only doing all of this right now because of the controversy that surrounds her name. And and with Leah and her mom still coming forward with new information, this doesn't seem to be dying down anytime soon. And you kind of left thinking with the more Jojo does, does that mean more information will come out? But I gotta be real here, Jojo does not give a f I mean, what better way to dissipate the rumors by doing what people thought would never happen? Be the opposite of what Jojo has always been. But I really have to mention, like, what's most ironic about Jojo threatening this rebrand upon us is that I was a bad girl. I did some bad things. Like, what you what you mean by that? By screaming at tween girls to kick their feet higher in the air? Standing around while your mum shamed a kid? for having a disability? Like what, pitting kids up against each other? Perpetuating the same toxic ass environment that you were brought up in, which to an extent, it's really hard to put all of the blame on Jojo. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Jojo was brought up in a really toxic environment. So it's no surprise to me that she would perpetuate that. Does that make it okay? Obviously not. But I don't know, man, really odd timing for this stuff, but gotta get the heat off somehow, right? now. Now, it gets even worse because what I don't get is why Jojo continues to hang around a legend known predator, James Charles. Only just a day ago, Jojo posted a picture of her and James together on set of her music video. I was a bad girl. I did some bad things. Yeah, hang out constantly with alleged groomers, Jojo. Have you learned nothing? Nothing! But in all actuality, Jojo does not care. In actuality, these allegations are doing all. Mostly because we only currently have the Rolling Stone article and Leah's alongside her mum's account of what happened on set. There has been nobody else to come forward and that's not saying what they're saying isn't true but unfortunately if there aren't more people coming forward then no one really cares. It sucks but it's just unfortunately the way the world works. Jojo is going to be talked about regardless. I mean look at us sitting here. Even if she doesn't address the allegations, hangs out with horrid people, or even treat people bad. So Jojo's rebrand is interesting to say the very least. What are your guys' thoughts and opinions on the entire situation? Let me know down in the comments section below and thank you for your stay at Yappersville today. I hope to see you all again soon. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.